Am I opening up a Barbie and giving a good like compliments to Mattel? Um, yeah, watch out. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to the doll circle. And today I'm reviewing a ton of dolls. So this is going to be one of many videos that I will be filming wearing my new shirt from my amazing friend. Can you see what it says here? Let's see. <laughs> you never can have too many dolls. Thank you, Melissa, for this top. <laughs> I really love it. And it is so true. You can never have too many. Um, unless you know, my credit cards max out, then you do have too many. So <laughs> here, let's get into it. I have so much in front of me. I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm going to start off with today doing the Barbie cutie reveal. These have been already out for a minute. Everybody's already opened them except for me, of course. Um, I was actually waiting to find it in stores. I, I could have ordered it on Walmart, but I didn't want to. There's so the camera's messing up and we're shooting on something different. Yay, things not working. <laughs> oh, I don't have to buy a new camera. But let's get back into the doll and hopefully this crop that I'm doing is working in editing. I don't know. So they have a bunny, a panda, a cat, and a puppy are the four different ones that you can get in this series. And rumor, and I thought it was somewhere on Instagram, said that, that series two might have a sloth. Let's make this happen. And honestly, these have been flying off the shelves. So I really, really think that they're going to do well. So at the top here, you have a little patch of fur so you can actually see it. So I like that. I like that you can actually pick the one you want. So it's still like a reveal because you're revealing it out of the tube, but it's not like the water ones were. So you really don't know which one you're getting because that I'm not really a big fan of anymore. I was just like, not that I ever really was a huge fan. So let's pull her, pull her out of her chamber. Oh, and there's a bunch of surprises in, oh, as I drop them all, bunch of surprises in the tube. And inside we have a checklist, which again, isn't really, well, it's only four, which, and again, they're not super surprised so you know which one you're getting, but here's the list of all four that you can get. And on the back, it shows you how you can like undress her, get all the different surprises, and then in cold water or hot water, it reveals different faces. So she has like a little like, like the cat has like whiskers and stuff on the doll's face, etc. which I'm not too much into the water aspect of a lot of these toys. To me, they just look really, really cute. And like, honestly, like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious looking. I mean, this is really perfect for Easter. I don't know if I like the plastic feet or hands. I think that looks a little weird, but overall, I think this is really cute. Oh my gosh, why is it so weird looking? But I love it. Like, it is so bizarre. I don't know. I hope this camera is doing justice for how cute this little bunny is. So let's reveal her head. <laughs> Ah, okay, so she's got some blue and purple in her hair. It's honestly not that bad. The rooting on there looks very similar to what we have for like fashionistas, but a little bit better. This is definitely for $25. I can tell she's definitely got a little bit more going on than a fashionista doll for sure. And her face up is really, really cute. Like I love the little white on the lip to give it that like little bit of almost like a glimmer on there. I, I think she's really okay. She's cute. She's, she's a basic bird, but she's still cute, you know? Her gloves come right off her little paws, and they actually are little paw prints, like little paws. So cute. Her hands are not articulated, just the elbows are. And let's take off her little feet. It looks like she's like the Energizer Bunny. Oh my gosh, the bottom says Barbie on it. The bottom of the little feet, instead of being like paws, it says Barbie. Okay, that's really cute. I'm loving that. I'm feeling that. That is really, really cute. And then going into, let's see here. Oh, her jacket comes off and the jacket flips inside out. Okay. See, that's what I was wondering with these key reveals. Like I watched a little quick, like the quick unboxings, but I didn't see anybody flip the jacket. So here's the outer, but if you flip it inside out as so, as I'm going to try attempt to do really smoothly right now on camera, which we can see is not happening. Okay, it's the rainbow jacket. That is really cool. All right, I see. I love that you get like a two in one with that. And like I said, this thing is really nice. It's not printed on. It's actual like like towel material, like a blanket. It feels like a really good fleece blanket. So I'm happy with that. She does have a molded on top, and she does have some articulation, so she can kind of do the robot. Um, mm, I, I don't know. If I'm a big fan of the molded on outfit, but. Honestly, it's a cute color. And I do like that it says Barbie on the bodice and the waist. 
So as you can see here, it says Barbie here on the top, Barbie here, and it's a high-waisted cute little like two-piece. Honestly, she doesn't look that bad. And she does have articulation in the knees. So she's giving me a little bit like Barbie extras. She's giving me that kind of moment almost, um, but not there either. She's like in between a fashionista and a Barbie extra. That's where we're kind of feeling her at. Like I do, again, the hair is not the best, but definitely thicker than a fashionista doll. So, so far, just the outfit alone, like this head is just everything to me. Like it's so detailed, even has like lining here around the neck to keep it on the head well, like, and there's little hearts in the eyes. Okay, this is adorable, adorable, like so cute. All right, and now they come with surprises. So in the surprises, I'm assuming is all the accessories. So she also has an outfit outside of the fur suit, <laughs> which are these spiked blue. Hold on, let me see if I can hold them and they can be in focus. I don't know if this camera is in focus like the uh, like my regular camera, so I'm sorry. But spiked combat boots. And then she has bunny ears because she's a bunny, whether she's in her suit or just out and about. And she wants to like, not like full on cosplay, but like just... I don't know what you would call it, like bounding, bunny bounding. Oh, okay, that sounds weird. But like, she's just like, oh, that's really cute. This is a perfect, like this doll needs to be a gift for Easter. Like put this in a basket with a bunch of other stuff. Like this is so cute. I really love the one ear down on her. She looks so sweet. Like she's really, really sweet. I'm definitely feeling this. Like she's so cute. And then, so that was just in one bag, which is the shoes and the headband. And this one she has a skirt, a top. What is this? Oh, a skirt. She has a skirt. Ooh, I like the metallic material. It's cheaper. It's something very fashionista, but honestly, I'm not mad at it. I do love this print on there. Like, I love that metallic color to it. Okay, this is giving me a little bit of like 80s, 90s glam Barbie with that. Anytime I see any type of like shiny fabric like that. Oh yes, and it's super easy to get on. It's just elastic waistband. So it just goes on her waist like that. Super easy, super cute. Oh, she has a pet bunny. I didn't know she came with a pet bunny. That looks just like her. Hold on, let's see if this hopefully it's in focus. Hopefully it's in focus. But look at this little pink bunny that matches her bunny suit. That's adorable. Okay. This is winning me more and more. Like I can see why everybody was super into this and still is super into it because I think they're still doing very well. Oh, she comes with, oh, that's cool. See, again, giving me that direct like 90s and 80s dolls where like everything came with like a little brush and like reveal her cheek makeup and stuff. So it has a little sponge on one side comb on the other says Barbie in the shape of a heart and that's what you use to put the water reveal on her face to reveal her little bunny makeup bunny face so honestly it's really really cute I like the little blue shoes go with her blue top because obviously she doesn't come with a second top she just comes with a skirt the shoes and the jacket that flips inside out which let me see if I can get it on and give you the full look I'm gonna keep her honestly in the bunny suit the whole time I think the bunny suit is just absolutely adorable and especially now like i said with color reveal being so big they had to do something outside of the water i feel like people would have just gotten tired of the water look all the like you know what i mean like uh, you can only have so many barbies in a water tube and plus then also you can't re-reveal her right like once you take the doll out of the tube and you do that like you kind of don't you can't do it again like you kind of lose that moment okay she's she's cute like i don't i mean the rainbow jacket is okay. I can see it tying in with her hair color here, but I'm not fully in love with the rainbow jacket. Definitely love the bunny suit. And for $25, I'm glad that they gave us articulation. Like if she was not articulated for $25, I'd probably be like, mm, you could have thrown in the articulated knee. Now, is she a made to move doll? No, of course. I mean, for that, she probably would have been like $40 or $50. And honestly, I probably would have paid that <laughs> if she was a made to move with this type of detailed animal suit yeah i probably would have been gladly to pay more than that honestly i think she's really cute for 25 dollars. she definitely has my vote i think this is a great step for mattel to give us a little bit better detailing more stuff like i mean look at the pants alone like even let's say she doesn't want to wear the full bunny outfit right and you just want to have her in pants and like a little top like this could be her joggers like her loungewear and look it has a tag on the outside that says barbie like i just i love this detail to it this is really nice if you do not have one of these, go get one. Cause like, she's just so cute. And her face up is actually really nice. I'll insert close up pictures here. Like she actually is really, really nice. I'm not, I'm not hating it. 
<laughs> am i opening up a barbie and giving a good like compliments to mattel um yeah watch out okay evidently i am i mean mattel tries and i feel like where we are now with the cost of things and quality of things and with things being so competitive in the doll world i'm really glad that they're giving us very detailed outfits this is a detailed outfit at a 25 dollars price point which i hate to say is now the standard price point beginning price point for dolls unless it's a fashionista or something like that you know because most other dolls now are going to be 25 to like 50 dollars now at target and that's okay i i get why i get why and i know someone's gonna come at me for it but it's like that's where we are now in the doll world and honestly for this one for 25 dollars tens across the board two thumbs up <laughs> she's so cute it's like i'm sorry to cover up your face but you're gonna be in the bunny suit forever like you are <gasps> oh look she can wear it as a hat this is a look this is the look <laughs> hold on it's like falling over her eyes there you go she's ready to go to like a rave or something like <laughs> i love this yes play the music i i i don't know this is just so much fun i can definitely if this was out when i was a kid i would have owned all of them this is just so hilarious i love this <laughs> this is so it's like terrifying but cute all at the same time let me know in the comments like i said these have already been out for like what a month now almost i can't believe i'm saying it's almost a month they're so much fun they're so cute she's wild looking like look at this. <laughs> i don't know why <sighs> it's a long day all right so until next video make sure to check out more content from me in the description below watch me on instagram to create this makeup on alive earlier was a moment thank you for everybody who went through that crazy makeup journey with me i will try to go live more on instagram this doll is fun i'll give it that like it's not again the best doll in the whole world but it is definitely so much fun and if they're making a sloth you know i'm getting the sloth make the sloth happen mattel okay please again tens across the board on this it was fun it's cute and this outfit is definitely quality. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.